Hello everyone. We will continue the topic classical reports. And in this particular video, we will fetch data from item table. Now, in the previous video, we put so much stress whenever you want to fetch data from dependent table or foreign key tables. Always, always check for size of RC condition or internal table is not initial condition. We can write our query in between this if condition. Suppose I will just remove this part. You are, you, it's your wish which way you want to go. Suppose I will go by this way. In between this if condition, I will write the second open SQL query. And you will learn now another way of writing the open SQL query. As of now, you know this way to write a open SQL query. Now you will also learn how to write a open SQL query whenever we are fetching data from dependent tables. So firstly, I will write select. Now from the item table, we are fetching data of how many columns? three columns. So I will write first column O N O O I N I cost. We are fetching data of three column up to this level. It's very easy. Now you are fetching the data of these three column from which particular table. Now I will specify the name of the item table. This is our item table. Now these three column data we are fetching from which table? Item table. Now we need to store. We, where we will store? We will store in the internal table. So I am writing into table. What is the name of internal table? What is the name of second internal table? LT underscore data one. Now the next part is very very important. And it will just make a base for the future topics also. Now we need to fetch data from item table. We are fetching data from item table for how many columns? Three columns. And data will come into which internal table? LT underscore data one. But based upon what? Based upon what you are fetching the data from item table? Based upon header only. We already covered item is totally dependent on header. There is no existence of item if header is not there. So how, how we will write the query for the same? What is the where condition? What is the where condition for the item table? Now, your header data, your header table data is coming into which internal table? LT underscore data. So how I will write for all entries in. It's a keyword itself. For all entries in. But the name of first internal table. LT underscore data. We are considering that data. We are considering the entries of the first internal table. Now in this internal table also, we are referring to which particular column. So I am writing firstly where O N O is equal to first internal table O N O. I will explain the meaning of these two lines and extremely, extremely important lines. Now, what we are doing? We are fetching data from item table. How and how many column data we are fetching from item table? Three column data. And data will come into which internal table? LT underscore data one. You are fetching data from item table, but based upon what? Order header. Your order header data. You is coming into which internal table? LT underscore data. So we are telling SAP, just go for the data, go for the entries, which is in first internal table. So what we have written for all entries in 
first internal table and what is the where condition to fetch data from item table we have written where o n o is equal to first internal table o n o you all know very well now input is always on the which hand side right hand side it means first internal table whatever the order number is there in the first internal table whatever the order numbers are there they will act as a input to fetch data from which table item table you all know in between header and item table what is the common column between the table order number so first internal table order numbers will go to which column of item table item table which column order number it will fetch data of these three column and data will come into which internal table lt underscore data one i will show you one excel and guaranteed 100 percent you will understand suppose i will go for a example with the help of this excel we will understand firstly suppose i am giving the input one two three you all know you have a select option so you can pass range suppose we are giving one two three one two three is on the right hand side it will go to which particular column o and o of which particular table header table it will fetch data of how many column four column and data will come into which internal table lt underscore data just see lt underscore data suppose i will make it lt data and lt data how many column data one two three four but the first order number one two three so we have three records in the first internal table or you can understand in the system also if i will go to header table this is our header table i am going and we are passing the input one two three whenever we will execute how many records are coming three records are coming but we are going for only how many column four column order number order date payment mode and currency this four column data is in which internal table lt underscore data this four column data is in which internal table lt underscore data now control will come to 31 number line if data is coming into this internal table three records are coming into this internal table it means internal table is null or it is not null internal table is not null internal table is not blank internal table is not empty so how we can check internal table is not initial so this if condition is true true whenever this if condition is true we are fetching data from which table now item table it means this query will execute now we are fetching data of how many columns three columns from which table item table we are storing into which internal table second internal table now these two lines we are referring the data of which internal table first internal table just see we are referring the data of which internal table first internal table this is the data in the first internal table first internal table now out of that all data which column we are referring we are referring o and o column we are referring which column o and no but the value of o and no one two three but the value of o and no one two three one two three will go to which column o and o of which particular table item table and yes we all know input pass from what right to left it means in the first internal table what is o n o first internal table o n o one two three this one two three will act 
as a input for which column O and O of item table. Now, if I will show you in the system also. Now, we will go to item table. This is the item table. If I will go to contents. So, this one, two, three will act as an input for what item table. So, I will put one, two, three, suppose. You all know we can pass by multiple selection button. I put one, two, three. Now, if I will go to execute, now you can see these many records, these many records will come into which internal table? LT underscore data one. So these many records will come into which internal table? LT underscore data one. And how many column data? Three column data. So this is the way how this second query will work extremely important point and it will play a vital role in the future. You are referring the data of first internal table by using which keyword for all entries in and out of that internal table because internal table has so many columns. Internal table has the data of so many columns but which column data is acting as an input for the second table. Order number column data is acting as an input to fetch data from which table? Item table. And data will come into which internal table? LT underscore data one. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we studied how to fetch data from dependent table or item table or foreign key table. Whenever you are fetching data from dependent item or foreign key table, never, never blindly fetch the data. It should always, always between the if condition. Because if first query is failed, there is no need to go for the second query at all. And how we fetch data? We studied one more syntax for the open SQL query. Whenever you are fetching data from dependent or foreign key table, use for all entries in first internal table, whatever the internal table you are referring, and then you can pass the where condition. In the next videos, we will use these two internal tables to display the output. So that's it in this video. Thank you.